Mannequin P. E. P. S. A. Little Man P. in the Rolls. French, Le Petit Julien, is a landmark small bronze sculpture in Brussels, depicting a naked little boy urinating into a fountain's basin. It was designed by Hieronymus Duquesnoy the Elder and put in place in 1618 or 1619. Location The famous statue is located at the junction of Rue de la Permeltuve Straat and Rue du Carnieyque Straat. To find it, one takes the left lane next to the Brussels Town Hall from the famous Grand Place and walks a few hundred meters southwest via Rue Charles Bulls Carol Bullrot. History and Legends the 61 cm tall bronze statue on the corner of Rue d'Altive and Rue des Grands Carmes was made in 1619 by Brussels sculptor Hieronymus Duquesnoy the Elder, father of the more famous Vrinna section Wa Duquesnoy. A figure has been repeatedly stolen, the current statue dates from 1965. The original restored version is kept at the Maison du Roi Bruodwis on the Grand Place. There are several legends behind this statue but the most famous is the one about Duke Godfrey III of Louvain. In 1142, the troops of this two-year-old lord were battling against the troops of the Berthouts, the lords of Grimbergen, in Ransbeck. The troops put the infant lord in a basket and hung the basket in a tree to encourage them. From there, the boy urinated on the troops of the Berthouts, who eventually lost the battle. Another legend states that in the 14th century, Brussels was under siege by a foreign power. The city had held its ground for some time, so the attackers conceived of a plan to place explosive charges at the city walls. A little boy named Julianz happened to be spying on them as they were preparing. He urinated on the burning fuse and thus saved the city. There was at the time a similar statue made of stone. The statue was stolen several times. Another story tells of a wealthy merchant who, during a visit to the city with his family, had his beloved young son go missing. The merchant hastily formed a search party that scoured all corners of the city until the boy was found happily urinating in a small garden. The merchant, as a gift of gratitude to the locals who helped out during the search, had the fountain built. Another legend was that a small boy went missing from his mother when shopping in the center of the city. The woman, panic-stricken by the loss of her child, called upon everyone she came across, including the mayor of the city. A citywide search began and when at last the child was found, he was urinating on the corner of a small street. The story was passed down over time and the statue erected as a tribute to the well-known fable. Another legend tells of the young boy who was awoken by a fire and was able to put out the fire with his urine, in the end this helped stop the king's castle from burning down. Traditions the statue is dressed in costume several times each week, according to a published schedule which is posted on the railings around the fountain. His wardrobe consists of several hundred different costumes, many of which may be viewed in a permanent exhibition inside the city museum, located in the Grand Place, immediately opposite the town hall. The costumes are managed by the non-profit association The Friends of Mannequin P, who review hundreds of designs submitted each year and select a small number to be produced and used. Although the proliferation of costumes is of 20th century origin, the occasional use of costumes dates back almost to the date of casting, the oldest costume on display in the city museum being of 17th century origin. The changing of the costume on the figure is a colorful ceremony, often accompanied by brass band music. Many costumes represent the national dress of nations whose citizens come to Brussels as tourists. Others are the uniforms of assorted trades, professions, associations, and branches of the civil and military services. On occasion, the statue is hooked up to a keg of beer. Cups will be filled up with the beer flowing from the statue and given out to people passing by. The statue has been stolen seven times, the last time being the 20th century by students from the village of Brokeshiel, a town with the same etymology as Brussels. There is also a statue of Mannequin P in Tokushima, Japan, which was a present from the Belgian embassy. Since 1987, the Mannequin has had a female equivalent, Genek P, located on the east side of the Ampas de la Fier de Copyright Lee to Copyright Slash Getchwides Gang. Replicas Although the Mannequin P in Brussels is the best known, others exist. 
there is an ongoing dispute over which mannequin P is the oldest, the one in Brussels or the one in Gerhardsbergen. Similar statues can also be found in the Belgian cities of Coxied, Hasselt, Ghent, Bruges, in the town of brain law lead and in the French Flemish village of Brokeschiel, a town with the same etymology as Brussels. In Bali, Indonesia, there is a Belgian restaurant called Mankepis. It even has the exact replica of the statue standing in front of the restaurant, urinating. In many countries, replicas in brass or fiberglass are commonplace swimming or garden pool decorations. Many copies exist worldwide as garden ornaments. Mannequin P has also been adapted into such risk or copyright souvenir items as ashtrays and corkscrews. In September 2002, a Belgian-born waffle maker in Florida, named Az Chiag, set up a replica in front of his waffle stand in the Orlando Fashion Square Mall in Orlando, Florida. He recalled the legend as the boy who saved Brussels from fire by extinguishing it with his urine. Some shocked shoppers made a formal complaint. Mall officials said that the waffle shop owner did not follow procedures when he put up the statue and was therefore in violation of his lease. In contrast, there is a similar statue in Rio de Janeiro in front of the quarters of Botafogo de Futebol e Regatas, a famous football club from Brazil. There, the presence of the statue is taken lightly, and it has even been adopted as a mascot by the club. Fans usually dress it with the club's jersey after important wins. A working replica of Mannequin P stands on the platform of Hamamatsucha Station in Tokyo, Japan. The statue is a great source of pride for station workers who dress it in various costumes a Euro traditional and obviously a Euro at different times of year. In popular culture, a promotional expansion for the board game Seven Wonders allows a player to build an eighth wonder of the world. Mannequin P. Mannequin P is also the name of a book by Vladimir Radunsky. In the 1986 film The Money Pit, the lead character, Walter Fielding, played by Tom Hanks, accidentally falls in a construction area where workers are renovating his home. In a sequence reminiscent of a Rube Goldberg machine, he stumbles through a window, across the roof, down a scaffold, finally into a wheeled bin in which he rolls down a hill and is dumped into a fountain resting directly under a replica of the mannequin P. See also, Genic P. Zinnick P. References. External links. Brussels B. Official website with calendar of costume changes. Ilotsika B. Mannequin P. Virtual visit. Pictures and costumes. Visit on web.com. Mannequin P in 360 degrees.